And in Borno State, the International Organization for Migration has relocated more than 100 households displaced by insurgency to modern mud break shelters built in Gofta community in Polka, Goza, local government area of the state. Chief of News, Jesse Tafida, has more. Borno State is now enjoying relative peace after 13 year conflict. This intervention by the International Organization for Migration is in response to the recent closure of camps and camp-like settlements in Maiduguri, Metropolitan Council, and Jerry. Of humanity. IOM insists that the closure of camps resulted in congestion of existing camps in the area, hence the need for the gesture to address the new challenge is working with the Borno state uh, for stabilizing the region by returning families or providing housing to those families who have returned to Pulka in particular and other places. And the fact that all these people are, are finding protection and resuming life, it's encouraging indeed. And there is a need for not only uh, in this particular uh, community, in Pulka, where we are still to re rehabilitate 135,000 people, but there are people more and more returning and to region stabilized, so we will engage indeed in helping the government to do so. Most of the IDPs were staying in emergency shelters. These are shelters made out of plastic sheets and uh, pieces of timber. But we realized that using a, a model of mud shelters is more locally adaptable, easy to maintain, and it can give uh, about 15 to 20 years with very little maintenance from the, from the beneficiary side. Aside the shelters, the resettled persons also receive livelihood support and non-food items to help them kickstart a new life, a move the government appreciates. Let me thank the International Organization for Migration for the construction of 100 mood break shelters to the returnees, IDPs in Pulka, and I hope the IDP will make use of this gesture and maintain, and maintain the houses. The Durable Mood Break Shelter Initiative adopted by IOM as a long-term solution is to resettle all internally displaced persons to their pre-displacement communities. This is in line with the state government's reconstruction, rehabilitation and reintegration drive amid camp closures in the state capital. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Polka.